Ever wondered how to survive a baboon attack? Well, first things first, know their territory. Baboons are primarily found in parts of Africa or Arabia, particularly near forests. These cheeky creatures are social animals, living in troops that can number around 50. Spotting one baboon often means there are more nearby. To stay safe, it's crucial to be aware of your surroundings. So when you're near these creatures, stay alert, keep your eyes peeled, and respect their space. Secondly, mind your manners. When dealing with baboons, it's crucial to remember that certain human behaviors can be interpreted as threatening. Avoid direct eye contact and refrain from showing your teeth, as baboons might see this as a sign of hostility. Another important point to remember is to never feed them. This not only encourages them to associate humans with food, but it also disrupts their natural diet. So remember, no eye contact, no toothy grins, and definitely no snacks. Thirdly, what to do if you encounter a baboon? Run or not to run? The answer might surprise you. In the face of a baboon, running might appear as an invitation to a chase. Instead, back away slowly without making sudden movements. Don't make eye contact or yell, as these can be seen as threats. If a baboon approaches, be prepared to drop your bags and walk away calmly. So when in doubt, back away slowly and never try to physically interact with a baboon. Fourthly, if a baboon gets too close for comfort, create a distraction. Maybe you have something in your hand, like a shiny water bottle, or that Twinkie you've been saving for later. Drop it or throw it to divert the baboon's attention. Shouting for help can also be a good strategy. The presence of more humans might just be enough to encourage the baboon to retreat. Remember, in the wild, outsmarting can be as important as outrunning. In a pinch, a distraction can be your best defense. Lastly, after any aggressive encounter, get yourself checked. Baboons are not just carriers of cheeky attitudes, but also various diseases. They can be the host to a range of harmful viruses and bacteria, from hepatitis A to the Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, streptococcus, and even tuberculosis. So don't let your guard down even after the encounter. It's always better to be safe than sorry. So make sure you get those rabies shots. Remember, your health comes first. So, get tested after any encounter. Now remember these intelligent creatures are best admired from a safe distance. Remember, the wilderness is their home, and we are the visitor. Until next time, stay wild and stay safe.